Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 60371, Emergency Vehicles Headquarters from the LEGO City theme. This set contains 706 pieces, 5 minifigures, and will retail for $69.99 in the US. This set does not officially release until January 1st, 2023, but it was sent to me early by the LEGO Group through the LEGO Master Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. Before we get started, I'd just like to ask you guys to please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm doing a bunch of early 2023 LEGO reviews right now, including more LEGO City as well as a ton of other themes, so if any of that sounds like something you're interested in, by liking the video and subscribing to the channel, I'll help put those videos in your feed as soon as they're posted, and also really help support me in the channel. But with all that being said, let's get on to the review. So here's the emergency vehicle headquarters, and this set is made up of quite a few different parts. There's of course all three different emergency vehicles, the police car, the ambulance, and the fire helicopter, and then there is also the actual headquarters build, as well as this little park with a grill off to the side. So I think we'll start by taking a look at the building, then the vehicles, and then that park side build, and then after that we'll move on to minifigures, overall thoughts, etc. So here's the actual headquarters build, and it's a fairly simple building. Done in a similar style to most LEGO City buildings, where it uses a lot of big flat pieces, but has a ton of interior space. However, having a ton of interior space is always a good thing for play, so I'm not saying that's a bad thing by any means. So to start, there is of course a road plate at the front. These are present in a lot of LEGO City sets, and it's a nice thing to have like cars drive on, and it's also a fun and easy way to make this set able to connect to other LEGO City sets, so that is nice to see. I will say it is a little bit fragile, like if you have this on the display, it's fine, but if you want to pick this build up and move it somewhere else, you're probably going to have to detach that road plate, because it's not connected on the best. At the back of the road plate though you can see there's two stickered pieces. One has a police logo and one has like a hospital logo and that's to show that the police car is meant to be parked on this side and the ambulance is meant to be parked on this side. Next to that there's a little grass patch and that's in front of the double doors to actually enter the building. That part's connected just like the road plate since it's prone to fall off a little bit too. Again I do want to make it clear like it's not going to fall off if you have it flat on a surface like this but if you're planning on picking this up and moving it from like one shelf to another you just have to be extra careful about these. Very easy to fix when they do fall apart but it is something to be aware of. Above those double doors, you have two solar panels right here. I guess these are powering the building, as well as a bit of foliage, which I actually think looks really pretty. Adds a lot of life to this build. I'm happy that's there. Then we come to the upper level, and here you can see there's three different stickered pieces. Again, two with the police and hospital logos, but then the fire logo is also here. And then here we see the exterior of the upper floor, where we've just got these blue rounded windows, and that does look really nice, even if they are a little scuffed up. I feel like transparent pieces, big transparent pieces nowadays, always come scuffed up in sets. It's disappointing to see, because obviously those pieces look better when everything's not like that but unfortunately that's just the reality of it nowadays. And then finally for the exterior, at the very top you have a little helipad. That's of course where you're supposed to place the fire helicopter that comes in this set. And I mean, it looks good. The neon yellow I think is a good color for it. It's got the letter H for helicopter. Then you also just have some radar dishes at the top right here. I actually think the level of detail in the exterior overall is pretty good. But now coming back down to the bottom floor and moving inside, here's a look at that bottom floor with those double doors. This looks to be like a little waiting slash break area. There's not too much going on in here. We have a little coffee machine off to the side, which is definitely a very simple build. I've seen way better builds of coffee machines in other LEGO sets before. However, LEGO City is always simpler, and I think in a simple style that is a pretty good coffee machine. There's also a little couch right here, or I guess just a very fancy chair. And then there's also a little TV screen too, which can be rotated out. That TV screen is a stickered piece, and it looks like they're watching a rocket launch, which I feel like is a very useful sticker. You could use that for like your own mocks and whatnot. I like that that's here. There's also a little outdoor area right next to that, behind like where the ambulance parks. Not sure exactly what the point of this is, because there's nothing really here. But I mean, like, it looks good. It's cool to have an outdoor area, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be for anything in particular, because I could not point to what that would be. Coming up to the upper level where those rounded windows are, here you can see there's a little treadmill in here with a water bottle. I guess that's where the employees can exercise while they're waiting. And then there's also a desk with three computer screens. Each computer screen is for a different emergency service. So this is the police one. It's got like a picture of a criminal on it. This would be the hospital one. It's got a skeleton on it. It looks like they're checking someone's diagnostics. And then the fire one is showing the location of a fire. And then there's a chair in front of it that a minifigure can sit in. And it is a swivel chair. So you can spin it around if you want. Other than that, it's just a lot of studs to post figures. I am happy with how much room's in there. It's not cramped. If you want to include like more furniture and whatnot in here, you could. But without it, there's a lot of room, which makes me happy to see too. So yeah, once again, kind of simple, but I think it's good enough. But I think that's about it for the actual emergency headquarters build. Again, I think it's good for what it is. Is it one of the best LEGO builds of all time? No, obviously not. But I think for a fairly simple LEGO City set, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, yeah, let me show you how all those vehicles load up so the ambulance can slide up right here. The police car goes right next to it. And then of course the helicopter can land at the very top. So there is the building fully populated. But now let's take a look at each of those vehicles one by one. So we'll start with probably the most basic one, the police car. And yeah, I mean, this is good. Very simple car design because it is LEGO City. It's never going to be on the level of like speed champions or whatever. But it's got like the police logo at the front, license plate with a set number on it as well as initials. And I think the neon yellow streak on the side is pretty cool. The neon yellow is the one consistent color between all the different emergency services, which is a cool bit of consistency between them. There's no actual doors in this vehicle, so you have to remove the roof if you want to get inside. And there you can see there's a driver's seat at the front, tons of room in there, as well as room in the back to hold a criminal 
criminal. And then, yeah, turning that around, you can see there's a window at the back for the criminal lookout, as well as, of course, tail lights. There's, of course, police lights on the roof. And then there's two attachments on the side, which are actually the most interesting part of this build. Because if you watched my review of the LEGO City Custom Car Garage, you would have seen that that set had this whole customization option where you can interchange different parts of the car. This set does something similar, though not to as big of an extent, but all three emergency vehicles in the set can swap parts out. So, for example, you can see the police car has lights on one side and this little camera on the other. These, however, use that same connection that's used in the Custom Car Garage set, so you can remove each of these parts. And then you can see there's that bar piece that came from Monkey Kid last year, as well as one of these clips, and that's how these attachments attach on. Same thing with the lights on the other side, those can be removed. And each of the three vehicles have these bars on both sides, so you can swap things around if you want. So now let's move on to the next one, the ambulance. So actually start with the ambulance looking at those attachments on the sides. Because you see on this side you have like a little container of water, and then on the other side you have like a first aid kit. Now the container of water might sound weird to you, why is that here in an ambulance? Well the answer is it's not, it's actually not supposed to be here, but I just kept it here for storage. Because in this set you get a total of six attachments, two for the police car, one for the ambulance, and three for the fire helicopter. However, each vehicle only has two points of attachment, so with the fire helicopter you have to pick which two you want to use. So I did not put this extra water container on the helicopter, instead I put in the ambulance to keep it safe. But yeah, this is a clear example of the customization you could do. You could see even though this part's not made for the ambulance, it still fits on here. But if you wanted to, you could remove that. There's how it looks with that part removed, and you could swap it out for any other part. So for example, the lights from the police car, and you basically get the gist. I'm not going to show you every possible combination, but I do think it's really cool the way you can mix those around, even if they don't always make the most sense. The one on the other side though is the first aid kit, and obviously this makes sense for the ambulance, but I feel like it would also make sense to be put on either of the other vehicles. Because a first aid kit is an important thing for like people to have, so if you wanted to remove that and put it on another vehicle, you could. But taking a look at it up a little bit closer, there's like a little printed part with like some diagnostics on it. I actually don't recognize the printed part, which is interesting because it feels like the kind of part that would come in a lot of sets. Maybe it's new for this year, maybe it's just a Lego City thing I've never seen before. I don't know. If you guys recognize it, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I think that might actually be new. There's also a syringe on the side, as well as a cast on the other side. This is the same cast that came on like Lil Nelson from Ninjago in the Ninjago City docks years ago. So it's cool to see that's still coming in sets and obviously makes sense for like an ambulance. But now coming back to the base ambulance, yeah, this is probably my favorite of the different build. Once again, license plate at the front with the set number on it. Headlights are pretty cool with these translate blue pieces. The way they did the mirrors on the side is really wacky. Like it looks good like this, but you can also hinge them down, which looks really silly. However, because they're in rigid joints, they're not just gonna like accidentally fall out of place. You do have to manually do that if you wanted to. These sides of the ambulance are very flat, just like most LEGO City vehicles. However, I think that's perfectly fine. There is actual doors on this one, which can be opened up to give you easier access into the interior. However, it is still probably easier just to remove the roof. There's a look at the driver's seat with that removed. Very colorful for the seat. Wish that maybe looked a little bit nicer, but that shouldn't be too hard to customize if you wanted to. And of course, a steering wheel in the front. There's a look at the other side of the ambulance, which you can see is exactly the same. And then around the back, you of course have these double doors which open up. And inside, there is a stretcher that you can take out. The stretcher piece is one of those Lego pieces that's been coming in sets for like decades at this point. I do think they updated it at some point, but it's very similar to like the ones I played with as a kid. But it's cool to see it like properly incorporated into a build. And I love that it like actually fits into this ambulance, because even though the ambulance like isn't the main focus of the set, they did make sure it could actually like function as an ambulance. You can put a minifigure on here, slide it into the ambulance, and like take them back to the hospital. And I think that's a lot of fun, especially for kids that opens up to just so much play. And like you'd see inside the ambulance now, there's a ton of room in there. So yeah, all you have to do is place your minifigure down, slide them inside, then close those doors back up, and you can still fit a character in the front even when there's a character on the stretcher. Small note, this minifigure does not come in the set, I just want to use him as an example. I guess I should clarify that. But yeah, as simple of a feature as this is, I really, really like that that's here. Also, I like the rounding on the bottom of the ambulance. Only a few parts used, but it looks good. And then finally for the emergency vehicles, we have the fire helicopter. Now this one's probably my least favorite of the builds. I do like that it wasn't all cars, one of them was a helicopter. However, this build does feel very similar to me. It's just sort of a generic helicopter. There is a printed fire logo at the back, which is nice to see because the other like logos on the other two vehicles were stickers. But other than that, it pretty much just uses the same basic helicopter design other helicopters use. Little propeller out the back, big propeller on the top. There's a large windshield piece, which can be hinged open. And there's room in there to put a minifigure. There's also another printed console piece, which I don't recognize. Again. Maybe it's a LEGO City thing, or maybe it's new for this year. I don't know, again, you guys will let me know in the comments. Because it does make me happy to see new printed console pieces, because at least on like Ninjago, they use the same like two for every set. So I hope these start coming in more sets, because yeah, these look great. And then you can see the attachments on the sides are two stud shooters. These are, of course, the removable attachments that you could swap out for any of the others in this set. But these are meant to be stud shooters that shoot out water. So you push down on them, and a towel comes out. You can see it's just trans blue circular tiles, and you get one of those stud shooters on each side. However, of course, you can remove each of them. And if you want to replace them with the attachments of the ambulance or the police van, you can. Specifically, that water container that I had on the ambulance makes a lot more sense on the helicopter. So if you want, you could have that here. And then just one stud shooter off to the side. So yeah, that's entirely up to you. I do really like the customizability options here. But I think in terms of build, it's rather generic. Like, if you don't have a fire helicopter yet, this is good. This is a fine fire helicopter. But the ambulance is really the only vehicle in the set where I'm like, okay, that's really good. The 
other two were just fine. Not bad by any means. And like, if you don't have any of that specific type of vehicle, it's great to add to your collection, but just on their own, they're nothing all too special. But that's it for the vehicle. So now let's move on to the one side build, then the minifigures, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. The one side build in this says this little outdoor park grill area. You can see there's like an apple tree growing to the side. Those apples are nice parts to get if you don't have them, or even if you do, it's always nice to get more. The grill build I actually really like. I know it's such a small part in the set, but I do think it looks really good. It's a really nice scale as well. And the idea behind this part of the build is it's something for the firefighters to take care of because the set also comes with this like double fire build on a disc. So the idea is, uh oh, the grill caught the tree on fire. So now you have to have the helicopter put it out. So for example, you could try to like aim the stud shooter to knock that fire piece off. And you can imagine like putting out the fire like that. So yeah, I think that's a fine inclusion. I do wish this was like better incorporated onto the main build because I do find it a little weird how everything goes completely together. And then this part's just sort of off to the side. Like through the road plate system or something, I wish this connected, but that shouldn't be too hard to customize if you wanted to. And it's not a huge deal. It doesn't connect. It's just an observation I made. But yeah, I'm happy this is here. And I think it's a solid inclusion, especially that grill. Surprisingly really good. Oh, but I almost forgot the one other build in the set is this little bike for the criminal. And there's not much to this one. It's just a bike that rolls back and forth. Always very fun to get as a minifigure accessory. I'm not sure if I had this specific bike before. It's a gray one that has like the handlebars forward. But even though it's only three pieces, it accomplishes what it needs to. And I think it's fun to play with. Always happy when things like this are included. So yeah, this is good. I like it. So here are the first two minifigures in this set. We of course have a firefighter and a police officer. These two are fairly generic versions of these characters. The firefighting outfit I think looks really good. And as someone who doesn't have a lot of Lego fire sets, I'm happy to have it here. However, I know very similar figures come in a lot of other sets. So if you're someone who collects a lot of Lego City, it may not be the most exciting, but it makes sense to be included here. And I do still like it. Just a generic sort of like biker helmet for the firefighter. I wish they'd gone with the more interesting helmet design, but this still works. And I guess it makes sense to be driving the helicopter with this. And then taking that helmet off, I actually really like that face print. Just a happy smile with a beard and glasses. I don't think it's actually too often that we get beards and glasses on yellow heads, so that's very nice to see. And turning around, no alternate face or anything, but yeah, I think he's good enough for what he is. And then the police officer comes with handcuffs as an accessory. You can see he's got a vest on and a badge, but all around again, he's pretty much just a generic cop. Has the word police out the back, orange sunglasses on blue hat. Again, represents what he needs to well enough. Like, this does look like a police officer, but there's nothing exceptional about this minifigure in particular. If you don't have any police Police sets, great way to get a cop. But if you already have a lot of police sets, this is just like all your other officers. Cool to add to a collection, but I don't think this figure in particular does anything like the others don't. And then here are the next two minifigures in the set. We have this medical worker who would be the one driving the ambulance. And then you just have this generic civilian who is an older woman, who unfortunately I think is mostly just here to be the victim to all the things happening in this set. Because she's the only generic civilian here. So she's here to get robbed by the criminal in this set, to accidentally light the tree on fire, and to break her arm so the ambulance can come get her and put that cast on her. So this poor woman is dealing with a lot. Anyway, I guess because I'm already talking about her, we'll start by taking a look at her. That face print I believe is all new for this year. It's an older woman face that does not have glasses, which is always very nice to see. Because a couple of years ago, those basically did not exist in yellow skin tone. Like every old woman face had glasses, which made it very difficult because I know I was trying to create a custom Mistake from Ninjago. And I was looking at all the different yellow old woman faces and none of them fit at all. Now this is not a good Mistake face, I don't think, but at the very least it does not have glasses. So that is one step closer. And then her hair piece, I'm not sure if this is a new color for this set, but regardless, it's a very uncommon one. It's like the Force Awakens Finn hairpiece in gray. And I think that works fantastic for like older characters. I really love that. Her torso is a very common one that's becoming in sets for years, but I mean, it's good for just a generic civilian. And then she just has the plain tan pants. And then the hospital worker is of course the final emergency worker in this set. And I actually really love this minifigure. Now, just like the policeman and the fireman, this is the same sort of design as the other like hospital workers in other sets. However, Lego City hospital sets are way less common than police and fire sets. So as such, this is just a less common minifigure. The neon yellow torso works great here, especially combined with the teal. That's a color combination I feel like you wouldn't expect to work, but it really does. And then she's got the hospital logo at the back beneath her hair. Unlike the cop and the fireman, she does have an alternate face off the back. We can see she's just smiling. It looks like she has a little beauty mark right there, which that's cool. That helps make the face more unique. And then taking a look at the face print again around the front, she's just got this medical mask on, which is a great face print to have, especially after 2020. I just feel like that's a really useful part to have in your collection. But of course, it makes sense for a hospital worker too. I think this figure just genuinely looks really good all around. Yeah, it's one I'm very happy to see. Oh, and there is also an alternate face in the older woman where she just looks very shocked and surprised. So full of personality there. I really like that one too. And then the final minifigure in this says just a criminal. He's the one that you saw riding the bike. And I think he does look pretty good. He's got like this dark orange jacket on, which I think looks great. But then underneath that, he has like this prison outfit on. And then he's got the bandana around his face, of course, as always. And then the classic Lego criminal hat. Yeah, very iconic version of the criminal. But I think the dark orange jacket is a nice touch. And the face print is pretty good for what it wants to be. So yeah, once again, a good inclusion here. I have no issues with him. And so what are my overall thoughts of this set? I'm not sure, honestly. Because taking a look at the set in this review, I do actually really like everything that's here. However, there's nothing that I'm really especially passionate about. The ambulance is the only thing in this set where I'm like, okay, 
okay, that's amazing. Everything else is just like, okay, yeah, that's fine. I think this set works as a great like starter set for kids just getting into Lego City because in terms of play value, there is a lot here. Three different types of emergency services and vehicles for each of them, as well as a little headquarters. I think that can be a lot of fun, especially for a kid to play with. And the price is actually pretty good too. 700 pieces, $470. Like Lego City has always been overpriced. So even pre 2020, like that would have been a good deal for a Lego City set. So the set really has all the marks that say, oh yeah, this is a good set, pick it up. But even still, I'm just not in love with it. I think none of the builds just really stand out too much to me. Again, I think it works great as a starter set and maybe that's what it's meant to be, but I just feel there's not a ton here for older collectors. So would I recommend this set? If you're an older collector, honestly, probably not. There's more specialized sets for each of these three things. There's more specialized police sets, more specialized hospital sets, and more specialized fire sets. And you'll probably enjoy some of those a lot more than this. This to me really feels like a starter set. It's just, hey, you spend $70 and you get all three here, which I think can be good for a lot of people, but then for others, you're not really gonna have any interest at all. But of course, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have a bunch of other 2023 reviews both up on the channel right now and coming over the next few days. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check those out if you haven't yet. But as for this video, I think it's about all I have to say. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.